Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishor Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be working on something to uh, enable our computer to see, uh, to recognize what exactly customers are ordering. So let's get started. Uh, right click on your code and edit it with the IDLE. So once you right click and uh, edit it with L -E, IDLE, it should look like this one. And then run the code with the help of F5. There we go. And now let's run or go through or start your game. So there we go. And we'll wait for the customer to order some things. So our idea behind to enable our computer to see or recognize what exactly customers are ordering is to capture the image of uh, sushi they order and then after capturing the image will convert it to the grayscale so it will get the it will convert to the black and white image and then get the pixel values and the color pixel values will convert it into the array and then will sum the array value and based on the total the total we will get will recognize what exactly customers are ordering so the total should be matching with uh, say for, uh, in, in this particular example the total of uh, uh, this uh, color value should match for one and fifth because these they, these two customer are, are ordering the same thing so let's uh, do it in practical so to capture the image we just need to capture this this small area only so just uh, put your cursor on the left top corner and run get coordinate function so let's okay there we go so let's get coordinate function and it should be 189 or 230 283 or just I move the customer here and there but it sh should comes like this one and similarly you just move your mouse to the bottom right and run the same function to get the other x and y coordinate there we go and these are the x and y coordinate sorry I moved my cursor so it didn't give me the correct one so let's see this time yeah 211 which is here so you need to just repeat it uh, repeat the same function for all six seated seats and run it for the same type of ingredient so when we run it like for the seat one get uh, seat get Seat one. Let the customer come on the seat one. Okay, there we go. So if you see the total of seat one, which is one zero eight eight, and if you can see the all other customer are also doing the same thing. So if we run it for the seat two, it should also give us the same value, which is because the customer is ordering same thing. So basically, uh, idea behind it to capture the image for all six seats and uh, get this sum of the pixel uh, color values, and that sum should match for the same type of sushi. So right now, customer are doing the same thing, so it should give the same value for each seat. So now let's check for third. So same value and fifth. again we see the same value so now let's see what uh, comes on the c3 and then we'll check again for the c3 and for as well let's see if something comes back nothing 
Ah, okay, no problem. So basically, we'll create the six function, copy of the same function six time for each seat, and give the x and y value to capture the image of Susi image for each seat, and we'll get the sum. Based on the sum total, we'll compare it for each Susi type. So we have, uh, we will also define another function that should be a kind of dictionary key pair value key value pair so this a dictionary variable so this sums come for onigiri and this sum um, 1345 should comes for california california roll and 760 should comes for gangkam so no matter what seat number is it but the sum of the sushi they are ordering should be matching for the other seat numbers if they are uh, ordering the same um, uh, sushi so that's the idea behind it so basically we'll capture the image we'll convert to the grayscale then we'll get can uh, get the pixel values or numbers uh, array convert it to the array then we'll get the sum of that array and that sum we are we would be matching for each seat to identify what particular sushi customers are ordering so that's it in this tutorial in next tutorial we would be working on compiling our code thanks for watching see you in next tutorial